Proceed. Yeah, and we can hear you. Okay. <clears throat> so thank you very much uh, for for having me uh, here. So the first thing I have to say is that uh, there was a there was a mistake, small mistake in the in the title of the presentation because there was an M missing in the name of the of the of the application. So it was put couple metrics. So I guess that uh, anyone looking for it will not find it. So but the, the right name is this uh, one couple metrics. Uh, I know that it's, uh, it sounds a little bit weird, but uh, okay, that's that's it. So as I was saying, so thank you very much uh, for letting uh, to us to 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 make this presentation of these applications that we have been uh, developing at the University of Barcelona. And uh, well, the idea. So my first, uh, as some of the out of some of the presenters today, I am uh, I would say I'm a network scientist, and then I, I used to see science and many different aspects of life as a, as a network. So I have been working on networks for more than 20 years. So and I think it makes sense that we start to see everything as network, but not, not probably not everything, but many things as used. Okay, well, actually this uh, this project in particular started because uh, one of these uh, university alliance in, in Europe, you know that uh, there are many of them in, in across Europe that were uh, doing a kind of a projects together in, in looking for the future of, uh, of high or the higher education in, in Europe. And one of the of these alliances was uh, this Charmy U that was led by the University of, uh, of Barcelona and it's formed uh, nowadays by these the nine universities. And uh, actually I was a part of the of the team that was developing the research, uh, let's say, branch of the research dimension of this uh, CHARM uh, Alliance, which was called TORCH, which is uh, the, the acronym you see, you see it here, which was the, and uh, one of the, of, the, of the ideas, one of the goals of this uh, TORCH uh, project was uh, making a kind of a framework that uh, helping the, the researchers at the universities in this alliance to find partners and then to find common projects of people working in similar topics, not only in similar topics in the other universities, but also looking at topics that in some sense could complement each other and then uh, finding people that could work uh, together in, in common projects. Actually, some of these projects were developed and then we were, we were trying to find some, some tools that would help the people finding partners in the other universities. So for this reason, we actually developed a couple of, uh, of applications based on this idea. One of these is this uh, TORS publication search, which actually looks for people in the, the nine universities you can select or deselect here. And then you can use a couple of filters like the, using the ISSN or the keywords in, in different ways. And here the idea is to look to someone in these universities that is that is working in some particular topic, of course, or publishing in some in some uh, journal, looking for the keywords I know. So these keywords and the concept and the topics, it's it's uh, it's like uh, there is some kind of uh, hot debate in in Open Alex. So we will have uh, we are moving from the topic from the concepts to the topics and and so. But so this is the idea, and then we develop another application which. Basically, the idea was to work on past collaborations of people of groups within also these universities, and then we apply to we can also apply these filters. We can look for for different uh, dates, and then of course, then we can we can look at these at these existing collaborations. So then, actually, when we were developing these uh, these applications, in particular for Torch, so actually this ended up in a, in in a project which is this uh, complementrics, which uh, which is a more general and more powerful application which in principle is based on this idea of uh, open science, which actually was one of the main, uh, let's say, settings of, uh, of, uh, of the uh, Torch Alliance as well, because everything should be based on, on openness of, uh, of data. So and then uh, actually, was, as you can imagine, we started working with Scopus data, but then uh, very soon we started looking at the data from Open Alex because of this uh, openness. And then that actually we can put this, uh, we don't need to put this in, in repositories of the universities, but we can make it really open and really general and free of, uh, of use for, for anyone. And then having this in mind, actually our idea was thinking on individual researchers looking for information about uh, topics, uh, journals, uh, partners, reviewers, or uh, I don't know, different things, but always thinking on the individual researcher, which is the type of information, uh, making something which would be really easy to use and to handle, and then getting also some 
by useful information. So actually, then we were developing a kind of a, of a panel in which we make three different types of uh, searches. One search is uh, this search by identity uh, ID files. So actually, we allow for uh, entering a data, a, a data file, which is a list of uh, orchids or a list of DOIs. So then you can put a list of, uh, of uh, orchids, a list of, uh, of people for these orchids, and then, according to some to some of the rules, as you will see now, then you get all the publications of these people for a certain period of time. So, and then with these publications, then what is the next step on in our application? Then I will show you what you can obtain from this. Then there is another one, which is the search by collaboration, which actually this is this was kind of inherited by uh, by the torch because here what we look is that uh, let's say existing collaborations between between entities. So this, for instance, in a national. Uh, settings in, in our case, for instance, in Spain, we can look at the different collaborations between universities in different topics. And this can help also to see, to make a kind of, of a map of collaborations between, between entities. Well, and then basically then the, the main one is this. So searching by parameters in which you enter different fields and you can go also here and getting some, some information. And then actually we, you go to the, to the search and uh, you see you have here some uh, some help uh, here and then you can make this look as this, uh, this search this query according to this affiliation to the ROR to, to the authors to the orchids to the ISSN or even to the keyword so here I will show you just a simple output from from this because I'm not uh, so I have uploaded this uh, before it's not very bad. so it depends on on the query because it works in real time so it makes the query to open Alex and then it goes back with, uh, with these results and then all the managing is doing on the fly. And uh, well, here, this is, the, this is the result of the query that you can get. And then the first thing is that you get the query itself. So you can edit the query and then you can, you can make another one. And then here on the right, what you get is the list of, uh, of publications with a complete information about uh, the DOIs. Then you can press here and then go directly to, since we have the DOI, then you can press here and then go directly to the, to the publisher. And here we have the journal information of the paper. So we get the, well, the percentiles and the, the side scores and, and some other uh, metrics. And then you see here you have the list. And here on the, right, on the left is the, the, then what can you do now with these uh, results, with the result of the query? Then you can do several things. And as I was telling you before, so I am a network scientist. And then I, I, I like to have networks. Well, not not uh, not everywhere, but in many places. When one of the, the first things that we look is at the co-authorship network, I'm just uh, going to show it here again. So here it's uh, the, the the search that I was doing actually is a search of uh, people working on complex systems and complex networks at the University of Barcelona. So it's uh, actually is the group of people that they have around. So I am familiar with them. And uh, so this is the result, even I am in one of these here. So here is the, is the network that you have, so you can identify here the groups, and you can see in different colors, not only the groups, not only the components, but also, let's say, the, the community. So this is a net, network language. We identify the communities in a, in, a consistent, in a consistent way. You can make a filter. So there are some authors that appear here that really don't belong to University of Barcelona. You can just check here, and you can remove it if you want. And then you can, uh, you can also change. You can have here, uh, you can change the number of, or minimum number of publications for these two to appear. And uh, this is also something I didn't mention here, that uh, you see that in principle, you can maximize the number of authors for a publication. Because this, this happens when, when you have a large uh, collaborations of, of a very large groups. And then here in this case, we have only eight authors at maximum, but sometimes you have hundreds or thousands of authors. And then when you try to make, to make a network of this uh, huge number of authors, then you get just a mess. And then uh, actually in, in open analysis also there is a limitation as far as I remember of uh, 100 authors for each uh, publication. So you can work this out. And then you can also make, uh, you can remove also, you can check for duplication from the journals and also from the archive. And uh, as I was saying, so here we have this network. So something else that we can get is here, you get to the author statistics. So here you can get the complete statistics on the papers. So this is the papers that were published in these four years. Then you have here the, 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 the quartiles where these papers appear. And here you have not only, which is the, the total of, the, of these publications, but you can select author by author and then to see 
which is, uh, you can see, for instance, I look for myself, and then I look this, I just published two papers in these two years, but these papers were in the in the first quartile. So this, and then here, this in black, you can get the number of, uh, of citations that the papers published were receiving in this uh, in this level. So there's a uh, complete information on these papers. Something else that you can get is the funding. Uh, I realize that the funding is, is perhaps not very precise uh, because probably this is something that I know that it's in, in, in among the, the projects of future of Open Alex. So in principle, we get it because uh, something that we are interested also in identifying the, the identity of the projects, but by now, so this uh, can be a little bit uh, limited. Something else that we can get is also the network of uh, concepts. Actually, here we were working still with concepts. I know that uh, concepts is being deprecated in, in favor of uh, topics. So we will move uh, to uh, topics as well and then working on this in the future. So here again, so it's a network of concepts. So you have a link between the uh, two concepts if these two concepts have appeared in the same in the same paper. And then here you can have an idea on uh, the topics uh, covered by, in this case, by the group of people working on complex systems and complex networks at the University of Barcelona. But of course, this depends on this depends on the on the query, and then you can get very different information depending on the type of query that, that you make. Then there is something else that you can get is 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 a network of collaborations between between institutions, so it's very easy to get. And then in this case, of course, there is this central one at the University of Barcelona because, of course, uh, one of the filters was University of Barcelona. And then you see here around, and then also uh, you can identify some of the of the communities here by the different colors. And then you can see kind of a, of a map of collaborations for this in this case. Well. And then uh, for and for the last, so we have made also kind of, of a pie chart of, uh, of uh, disciplines, because I think that also something that, that people is looking around nowadays is not only citations, publications, but also how interdisciplinary you are and how how wide is the is the is the people so the, the spectrum of of researches that your publications get. And then here is just uh, we have measured this disciplinarity in two ways. One is that for the discipline because we have we have we are using the site score and then using the ISSN and then here we have this classification in terms of the of the site score and this uh, here in terms of the concepts in Open Alex that of course as I was saying before as well this should be let's say move into the topics and more in, in the future and then to see it here. and then in order to measure which is the degree of inter last minute Albert yeah then. Uh, so this uh, you, here you have these two indices of uh, of diversity, which is the one is the Jimmy Simpson index, and the other is the Shannon entropy. So we are physicists, and so at least we have to do something with with the entropy at some point. Well, and then another of the things that you can get from this is you can download the CSV with uh, all the information that this can be used in reports or whatever you want, just uh, as, a, as a single file. Okay, and this is just to end. So this is uh, my take home message that I wanted you to to get rid so that in principle our idea was to design a user-friendly tool for for final users so then that they could be to make their own cv to look at your own network of of collaboration not to look to because you know it but to show it in some sense when you are evaluated or something like this you can look for partners you can see different partners here it can be also useful for managers so if you at the end of the year you have to make a report of the of your institute or your department so it's very nice to get these kind of, of maps that don't show only a list of publications but they show which is which have been the real collaborations between the people and then this can be even useful for evaluators evaluators of course i know that we are dealing as well with these uh, types of quantitative metrics, but you can look at for, for instance, roles where you have these communities descriptions and so. And then at the end, we are also providing some, some particular interfaces. So if you, I have my own website and then I can design a kind of, a, of, a, of an interface that just is calling to this. And of course, uh, it's, it's an ongoing project and we are working on usability, we are improving, we are looking for new metrics and for, all, of course, new, some new, new network related metrics because I think can be useful for, for the community. And then, so please uh, comment, suggestion, criticisms, criticism are welcome. So um, thank you very much and here you have my uh, coordinates if you want to reach me and then I will be open for any question at the end of the session. Okay, thank you very much. Great, thank you very much, Albert.